Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to a video on the channel. I am doing a reaction video because um, those who can do teach or can't teach or something like that and those that can do, do can't do, do reaction videos or something like that. I've butchered the quote so apologies but um, I'm reacting to the video I did yesterday. It's the I'm a failure video which um, <laughs> I've had a very broad kind of range of comments and I would reply to them all individually, but I think it's just easier for me to do a video um, basically reading through every comment that I had on that video thus far. It's a full 24 hours after the initial video was released and I'll just go from there because I'm a little bit, I guess I'm a little bit down at the moment as well, which doesn't really help things and uh, it's just easier for me just to sort of address things in this video and, and whatever. Plus, you know, YouTubers need need all the money they can get, so we got to try and get the views, so my, why not do a reaction video? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Before I do, I'm going to have a glass of milk, because I can't do a video like this without having a little glass of milk. For all you ASMR people out there, that's me drinking my milk. And we will go through the comments section. So, um, I've got it from top to bottom. It's weird, because some comments, they... If they, they go to spam. I had one from Barak which went to spam, which I've just approved because nothing wrong with the comments. So YouTube is a very weird system. But first one's from someone called Adam Ayobi. Uh, he said, no, don't think that for a second. So thank you, man. Thank you, Adam. Um, he's basically saying, don't think I'm a failure. I don't think... Maybe maybe the video I made yesterday was a bit too clickbaity. I think just a, the black and <laughs> the black and white and grey kind of background image of me with a sad face and then failure question mark. That is a very clickbaity. That's very 2019 YouTube. So at least I've learned a few things down the years doing YouTube. Um, whereas a few years ago I probably would have titled the video I think I made a mistake with history fix or something to that effect or, or my history videos and people wouldn't have batted an eyelid. So maybe it's my own fault for clickbaitness slightly. But um, okay, so thank you, Adam. Thank you for that. Um, we got Mr. Flapples, Ethan. I don't think you're a failure, smiley face. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you have ideas and do your best to create videos around them. Even if it might seem that there's not one singular theme, it's your channel. You can craft it into the channel you want. Furthermore, it's not the be all and end all. You've got stuff in your real life that has your attention. In my opinion, I think you're doing great. And if you want to try something new or structure something from the ground up that you should, but not work so hard you lose your passion, smiley face. I support you, smiley face. Thank you, Mr. Flapples. Thank you, Ethan. Lovely comment to have. Um, I, 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 do you know one of the nicest things, I'm gonna, before I go any further into this video, one of the nicest things with YouTube is the, is the community. Uh, whenever you're down, you can make a video like I did yesterday, and, and all of a sudden you've got a bunch of people just, like, I guess, lifting you back up, lifting your spirits back up, I guess. And it's nice having comments like that. Because in a in the kind of the internet community, I guess we're in a sort of society now where people are very passive aggressive in their comments, and I get it all the time with some of my older videos. But even now, like I get like tutorial videos or, or whatever, and people are comment on it. One, one, one of the ones I have at the moment is, is my Croatia Attila series from like three years ago or four years ago, whenever it was, and I still get random people commenting on it, and they're like, um, "Where's the next episode, you idiot?" and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, like part 25. It's like, look at the upload date. It's like 2015 or 16 or whatever it was. I'm not doing it anymore. Um, but you do get like those kind of comments, which, you know, I'd learn to just ignore them. But it is nice to get nice comments is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and people out there in the internet community to sort of lift you up. Uh, so that's Mr. Flapples. I got two comments from Liquid Fire PUA. And they're massive comments as well. So I'll start with his original comment, then I'll go to his second comment. So... You are a human. You have multiple interests. The complexity is interesting. You remember the motto of YouTube? Broadcast yourself, not purse maximize channels. It's actually kind of boring if a channel just one thing. You need to redefine your own success. To be honest, you actually sound a bit tired. <laughs> a little bit tired, yeah. I'd say you seem like you could actually use some supportive therapy. Yeah, I could do the fucking massage. <laughs> Please don't burn yourself out. Again, do this because it's your passion. You could easily separate content with playlists. I think you've pretty much, I think you pretty much hit the nail on the head, to be honest. Um, broadcast yourself, 
community aspect, that's what it's about. I, I, I got an all lose focus of that, so that's the one thing which I want to address now. Uh, the next thing is, you are right, it is kind of boring to do one thing constantly. I, I always maintain one of the channels that I love the most and I'm still subscribed to this day is Lionheart and he was one of the influences for me starting my channel. But if I'm being brutally honest, the much as I love the guy and I think the guy's great and it was very lovely what he did when he got involved with the video with Rex regarding the wedding that we that we had, me and Panda. Um, my wife, Susu, so, so my wife, <laughs> in, the, in the other video I made the other day, I actually called her my fiance by accident, Ooh. even though we're married and <laughs> be married a few weeks. Um, but Lionheart, going back to my point, his content is very similar throughout the last six, seven, eight years. It's just let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. And it's Total War more or less 90% of the time. He does do a few other things. Um, so I guess you could say it's a bit stale watching someone like that. There's people who love that content and great. But I don't really watch him much anymore. I I, watch his, I only really watch his videos now when uh, when when there's a new game coming out. And he's got early access. And I just want to have a little feel for it and see what it's like. So i got to be honest. I, I do kind of agree with uh, Liquid Fire's comment here about uh, redefining your own success and um you know not doing just the one thing doing something that you think would be would be useful um and playlists definitely so maybe i will do we'll, we'll keep that into consideration if i ever do more history stuff i am thinking about relocating the other two videos and bring them back over to this channel so that's something i can consider um <laughs> regarding the supportive therapy and don't burn myself out i've got a good um family network i was speaking to my sister earlier about things because she's gone through some things herself which I'm not going to address in the video because that wouldn't be fair on her and it wouldn't be very professional of me because it's her own business but um, you know she knows better than most people I guess when it comes to stuff like that and um, it was nice talking to her it was nice speaking to like I speak to Panda or Michaela or whatever you want to call it my wife my wife the wife I speak to her all the time about things we were talking in bed last night and, and, and you know about things um, not just kind of <laughs> not believe it or not not really youtube things as such uh, although i does come into the conversation sometimes but uh things to do with bowls things to do with work there's a lot of a lot of things a lot of changes going on in my life right now and it's, it is difficult to kind of um address all of it in a video and i'm not going to address all of it in a video but um i've got a lot a nice group of people right up there for me so that's what i want to say on that i don't think i don't think i need to be seen by somebody who's like uh bloody whatever they call Specialists. I don't think I need to be like sectioned or something like that. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, but yeah, do it for your passion. Playlist, great. His second comment then, uh, Liquid Fire. One more thing, perhaps you start following Gary V. He's a master at social marketing. It might help you grow the channel. I'll check that out. By all means, I'll check out Gary V. I don't know who he is. I don't really know much about social marketing, so maybe it's something worth looking at. Um, the book tribes will also help. Remember, Edison tried a thousand of times to get a light bulb. I enjoy your content, but your health's not worth it. Thank you, man. Thank you, Liquid Fire. So that's um, his two comments there. Uh, Avon Davis. That's a com guy I haven't seen in a while. Uh, commenting. Chin up, fella. All it takes is one video to go viral. Keep doing what you're doing, and it will pay off in the end. See, i got to get my cats involved. That's why I'm missing out. This is why the YouTube thing hasn't been working. I haven't had enough cats on the channel. But bring my cats in now and start doing some shit with them. Um, funny enough, I joked with, with um, my wife yesterday. I was saying to her... Um, Oh, we should do. I want to do a podcast. I was saying, what we should do is just get the camcorder, record the two cats for an hour, and then do voiceovers. <laughs> Master, why aren't you feeding me? Oh, look, sister, it's him again. Look what the cat dragged in, and just shit like that. Um, which sounds really cool in my head, but I don't know how that would translate into a video. Just so someone saying it as a cat screen for an hour. But you never know. People watch podcasts, and there's like no video, just audio. So whatever. No. Um, thank you, Avon. Thank you, man. Uh, the unfortunate general. Um, you timestamp my 10 second clip. Uh, you tell me, mate, about my own that. That aside, I hope it will work out for you. Just give it some time and love. Thank you, man. Thank you, unfortunate general. Um, Jackalicious. I said because of the old Western Roman Empire Taylor series, thought you deserved it. Thank you, man. I was crap in that series. I really was, but that series was good for the channel because I was the only idiot on the internet to jump into Total War Tiller on legendary difficulty with the hardest faction without any prior knowledge or experience playing the game. So, <laughs> so that kind of blew up my channel slightly. I had a bit of a bump by doing that series because a lot of people come over for the legendary stuff and I was absolutely terrible at it, but it was fun. And finally we got the comment from Barak Michael Shmuel. I love saying that name. 
Uh, I think the title is too harsh. I addressed the title at the start of the video. Um, I agree. Uh, regardless, you have been busy in real life with important things and you've gained a lot. So look at that and be happy first. Don't be so hard on yourself. As for the channel, you are making changes. You are trying new things, which is good. In the end, you will find what it is you like to do must most and, and what manage to gain people attention to follow your channel. Being a YouTuber is not easy and it takes a lot. Most or must success most successful people with YouTube channel are people who YouTube is their job. So they must have their attention most the attention on that. Don't forget your your work and etc. I love your channel and every time you used to do a Warhammer episode I would have watched it. Same with live streaming if if I was free. I think you are great and maybe you could open yourself for suggestions from the audience if you feel like it. People's suggestions could be a good thing. Same with constructive criticism. Thank you, Barak. Really appreciate your comment again. Um, thank you again for watching those Warhammer videos. <laughs> I felt like at times you were the only person watching them. <laughs> I had like um, my Tomb Kings especially. I think I did like 42 episodes on the Tomb Kings when it came out. I think you commented on every single episode. So fair play to you, man. Um, as far as suggestions and stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely open and down for suggestions from people. I've been asking people on my Discord recently about the podcast ideas I've got. Um, I'm trying, still trying to think of a name. I think I can do some good artwork for the podcast. And the, the idea, without going off topic too much, the idea is to basically have me and then somebody on my Discord chatting for like an hour. And think of it like um, two people who know each other or getting to know each other. Uh, whatever the situation may be, um, in a bar, just chatting about stuff. And it can be topical on like games and stuff, and it can just sort of veer off into wherever way the conversation goes. And then I upload it, I'll have like an hour, at least an hour's worth of content on the channel. It'll all be audio, it's not going to be video, it'll just be audio. I'll have timestamps then on there eventually then. Because I quite like doing the podcast before with, with uh, Sondre and uh, Lord Rex or so, um, I, I kind of want to bring some of that back to the channel because... I do actually enjoy talking with people and, and, and learning new things and stuff like that. So uh, that's kind of my idea. So yeah, suggestions with podcasts, definitely, definitely go for that. And any other suggestions or can, yeah, or constructive criticism, I can't speak properly now. I do speak too quickly, that's my own problem. My, my mouth is too quick for my brain sometimes. Um, any other ideas that um, you have and stuff, that'd be great. So yeah, and that's all the comments I've had thus far. I might get more, but I'm recording this at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, on the 15th of October 2019 so it's been like a day since uh, that video has been uploaded near the comments I have so far so again uh, like I said um, thank you to all of you that's left a comment it means a lot to me um, without going too much into it I think it's I think it's partly YouTube I think it's partly like just the usual kind of stress and work and stuff and and um, and bowls like for example uh, today you went on a little secret I got dropped from the bowls team <laughs> I know when you have like a bad, a shitty day or a shitty week and everything just goes against you. I think at the moment I feel a bit like that. So maybe that's what some of my frustration was. And I was just thinking about the YouTube thing and then I thought about the history videos. I felt like I let people down and stuff like that. I let myself down more importantly. I think that's where the video kind of stemmed from. But I just wanted to address that in this video and address the comments that people uh, left me. I just had saliva on my screen. I just I must have spat when I was speaking. How, how dirty of me. Bloody hell. Um, I think I'll probably be it for this video. Um, like, like I said, guys, thank you so much for your comments. It really, really means a lot to me. Um, I will be back with some videos. I've actually got some good ideas for videos, some top five stuff, which I've been recording. Well, not recording, but I've been um, uh, saving them onto my tablet in like a list format. So I'm going to try and go through a few of them when I get a bit of time. And yeah. That will end this video. I've been Dragonheart. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.